open up the council meeting of November 9, 2016. Mayor Moore? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Here. Council Member Chapman? Here. Council Member Clayton? Here. Council Member Kendall? Here. Would everybody please rise for a silent prayer or a moment of reflection, please? Flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2016, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the city clerk. The next item, the presentation by the Asbury Park Housing Authority has been uh, canceled for this evening. So next we're up to special events. Leisha. Okay. 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 Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, this evening we have two applications. The first one is the 53rd annual Polar Bear Races, which would be held on December 31st um, on the boardwalk from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And the second application would be the um, Asbury Park Rotary Club Polar Bear Plunge, which would be held on January 28th from 8 a.m. to noon. Any questions? You're good. Thank you. <laughs> Next item is review of the agenda for this evening's meeting. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, as we've been doing, I would like just to quickly go over some of the agenda items. Starting with, let's see. Resolution 2016-438, which is a resolution for Chapter 159. This is for a body armor grant that the police department has received. And Resolution 2016-439 is a resolution authorizing the disposition of surplus property. The city is in the process of getting rid of all our stuff that we don't use anymore. Old computer monitors, old computers, um, everything that we don't need anymore, we're going to start auctioning it off. You're going to see a couple more of these as the weeks and months progress. Um, moving to individual resolutions, one of interest is 2016-441. This is a transfer of appropriations in this year's budget. Um, under state statute, you can do a tr uh, municipalities can do transfers to line items that have been over and or under expended between November, December, January, February, and March. Um, this is to cover some of our insurance inspects in costs, um, especially the GIF payment. So you'll see it's to the liability insurance. Everything else is, is to pay our insurance bill. Um, I'll ask the Deputy Manager, Fire Chief Kevin Ketty to discuss Resolution 2016-443, which is to apply for a FEMA um, AFG grant. Kevin? Uh, the fire department is seeking permission via resolution to apply for the assistance of firefighters grant. Uh, this grant cycle comes out every year and we uh, have been very successful historically with these grants bringing in over time millions of dollars uh, worth of equipment into the city. This year um, we want to apply to replace our rescue truck at a cost up to six hundred thousand dollars and the city would be on the hook for a five percent match which would be up to thirty thousand dollars if we're successful it i don't see it going that high but we want it to have a cushion just in case uh this money would be available through the capital improvement fund if needed if awarded um and can be also included in the budget so if there's any questions we'll get to that one in a second uh the next resolution is 2016-444 it's awarding a contract for environmental services for tax block 803 lots 1 through 14 
um, commonly known as the Turf Club, uh, to Lewis Consulting Group. This was out to bid and the staff is recommending award to Lewis Consulting Group to do an environmental cleanup on this site. In the subsequent developer agreement with Interfaith, they are allocated a $50,000 credit for cleanup. So um, Ms. Alonzo and myself met with Interfaith and we as a government have the ability to apply to DEP for certain funds. So this will actually save us money by doing this. In the resolution, it states the contract is expected to be $63,700, which at face value is obviously more than 50, but we are eligible for 100% reimbursement of the site investigation work and 75% of the remediation. So that $63,000 is gonna be closer to 10 to 15,000, reducing obviously less than what the 50,000 would be in the, the developer's agreement. And that's common that there is that sort of buffer for a cleanup of a brownfield site. So we're recommending this, it's actually gonna make us money in the long run and clean up the site. Mm -hmm. um, two very important and last resolutions is 2016-445 and 2016-446. 446 is the redevelopment area bonds in the amount of $17.5 million for ISTAR for the 1101 project. This is for infrastructure. And resolution 2016-445 authorizes the execution of a subsequent developer agreement with Asbury Park, AP Block 176 Venture Urban Renewal LLC. This is the 1101 Ocean Avenue project. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to bring to everyone's attention that this Friday, as part of this agreement, ISTAR is going to be holding a pre-qualification interest at the Asbury Hotel all day for local businesses and residents who are trying to get involved in, in their um, activities with the general contractor, Sedoni. So we're gonna be sending out another press release. I know it was in the paper um, that ISTAR has done that, but this is the 1101 project. These, this and then the ordinances, which are uh, for second reading tonight, which we'll get to when we do that portion of it, is the final aspect to approve the 1101 Ocean Project. Um, the subsequent developer agreement for us is approximately two, two and a half million dollars in pilot money um, upon build out of the four components. The components consist of a parking garage, retail, um, the hotel, and then the residential aspect of it, of approximately 28, 128 residential properties, uh, units. So this is 1101, it's the one that everyone's been waiting for. This will immensely help the city's financial situation. At this point, this is the review of the resolutions. If there's any questions from the mayor and council, please ask. Uh, no, the only thing I was gonna say was that um, uh, not only is it a, a good for the city from a monetary point of view, but um, this, this agreement was also contingent upon ISTAR adding scholarships, mentorships, apprenticeships, um, and, and another version of the SALT school, which they did for the Esbury Hotel. So I wanna thank um, ISTAR for working with the city and meeting you know, the requirements that we asked them to meet to start you know, um, not only now hopefully hiring local residents, but a program to start training them. And that was something that we weren't going to move on this project without that in it. Um, so thank you, ISTAR, for, for stepping up to the plate. Brian is on his way here. He's running late for the train. Oh, and Fred's here. I forgot about him. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's the attorney. Anybody else? Any questions on the resolutions? No questions for me. No. Matters by the city council. Who wants to start? I have nothing at this time. Oh. You uh, just one thing, the next expungement seminar is going to be November 19th at 11 a.m. So anyone who is interested, please come to St. Stephen's Church on Saturday the 19th at 11 a.m. Thank you. I don't have anything at this time. Um, APTV put in a new sound system. So those of you at home, because um, we get a lot of complaints <coughs> about the sound system, um, please, please shoot us an email and let us know if this fixed it. Um, and hopefully for all of you, that, you know, you can hear us a little bit better now. Um, and I want to thank Hera, who's the president of APTV, and the tire, and I think Ed, Ed Salvis was here. I don't know if he's still here. But anyway, the whole APTV crew for um, tirelessly working on getting an improved sound system 
um, for these meetings. That's it. Okay, a couple brief announcements. Uh, as hopefully everybody is aware that the Asbury Park Music Foundation has applied to have another series of concert, concerts in 2017 at the Springwood Avenue Park through the Levitt Amp Foundation. And you have to vote for this online and voting closes on November 21st. So we're please ask everybody here and everybody out there on TV land to vote for this. It's a great program. We thank the Asbury Park Music Foundation. The city's a co-sponsor of this in the past and will be in the future. Uh, it's at grant, G-R-A-N-T dot Levitt, L-E-V-I-T-T, -T, amp, A-M-P dot org. So if you could go on that and vote once, it will help us get that concert series back. Uh, Friday at 10 o'clock at the VFW is the Veterans Day ceremony. We'd like to see everybody there. Uh, we have a great veterans group in Asbury Park, and it's always an enjoyable day. And they'll be honoring the policemen and firemen of the year. Uh, last week, a new provider opened at 1201 Springwood Avenue Ocean's Family Success Center. Uh, I stopped by, Yvonne stopped by. They had a soft opening last week. Alicia was there. I'm very impressed, and I think this is going to be outstanding for the community. And on the 16th, they're going to have another hard opening from 12 to 2 and 4 to 6. So that's at 1201 Springwood Avenue, Unit 105. So if you want to stop in and meet Linda Rossi, the director, and find out what they're all about, it's be highly appreciative, and I think it'll be very, this is great for the community. So that's all I have. Thank you. Matters by the city manager. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, there are a, a couple things. One is a follow-up from two council meetings ago. We've begun working on the snow policy that's been requested. Uh, that should be out in the next two or three weeks, probably. Um, the Wesley Lake Commission has requested that the city apply for a TAP grant. Um, at this point in time, I'm not recommending the city apply for one on behalf of the commission. We have our own initiatives and infrastructure that we must meet. So in my opinion, it should be a joint application between the commission, us, and Neptune. And as Neptune has already gone ahead and done their own thing, that we should be doing our own thing too because there's just too many issues and it's a weaker application. So I mean, Neptune is not doing a TAP grant for the bridge? No, they are not. Okay. But Michael, there'll be another opportunity and coming it, down it, the it line It usually too. comes around every two or three years. And then during that time, we should the three entities should sit down and hammer out what the next application should be. As I said last time, the bridge is a great project, mm -hmm. but it really needs to have all three municipalities and the county, because it is a you know, multiple jurisdiction application so that it should be funded. Okay. Um, and this is Carrie Turner's last meeting. She wasn't gonna get away from that, and I'd like to thank her <laughs> for the year that I've been here for being very helpful in working with um, Madison Asbury and all the work that she's done. You're not getting away from that. You're welcome. Um, Michael, can can you put the snow removal thing on for the next meeting? Because I've been asking for that for like six weeks. Can he be done and presented at the next meeting? Because if we have a snowstorm, again, Asbury's problem is that it's always reactive to a snowstorm and never <coughs> proactive. So we spend days before a snowstorm trying to get the word out on whatever we're doing with parking or where to put your car or. or I'm just saying, if, if you can step it up DPW's priority list to the next meeting, I would be great. Bill and Hannah have been asked to have it done for the 21st, the day before the meeting, okay. which is going to be quite honestly tight because Bill is at the League of Municipalities next week. Okay. So whatever they have, I want on, you know, obviously a dare so to review it before I give it to you guys. So that's the tentative goal, but with the League next week, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But you'll have it. Before the first snowstorm. <laughs> Oh. When you think about having a year-end report for the public, for the residents of Asbury? Yeah, that's not an issue. Okay, thank you. Any other matters? Matters by the city at, uh, attorney? No matters at this time. All right, at this time, can I have a motion to open a meeting to the public? Move it. Move. Second. <laughs> the public, each public member has three minutes to speak. Please state your name and address for the record when you come up to the mic. Hi there, Randy Thompson, Park Avenue. 
I'm here representing Help Not Handcuffs, local nonprofit you're familiar with. I want to speak on the syringe access ordinance that you have uh, proposed tonight. Um, I've been very vocally anxious publicly about the need for this to be introduced sooner than later. I don't want that to take away from uh, my comments being supportive of the fact that there is now an ordinance on the table and because you put that there, we are in a better spot as a city that we're at a place where we have never been before, even though this program was authorized long before several councils uh, before you were on board. Uh, this is a program that is called by the World Health Organization, uh, a required element of HIV pr prevention. It's known to take syringes off the street. We don't have any safe disposal measures for people who engage in uh, injection drug use. Allaying fears people. This, this type of program does not promote drug use. It's known to actually make people healthier and discourage drug use, and it takes one out of five people, they end up getting healthier and going on to live their lives, sometimes without drugs. So this is a dynamite program. I'm completely supportive of the ordinance. I do have one recommendation for you. I think there should be a community advisory portion to that. This is a program, we now have, uh, we now have an RCAM program. This is our second harm reduction program. If it passes and if it is implemented, I think a program like this is um, very thinly funded by the state. It's going to need a lot of support, and this would not be some burdensome uh, oversight committee, so to speak. It would just be a group of people who would be um, mandated in communication with the program to help support it, foster it, and make sure this goes on to help prevent HIV. We've been heavily impacted by the HIV virus, and uh, that was recognized by the Department of Health. We were one of the hardest hit communities in the state. So. Um, cheers to you. We finally have an ordinance on the table. There's a health services provider here who's a little camera shy. I'm not going to uh, mention them <laughs> until they're ready to step out, but cheers to them as well, even though I'm not naming them, for stepping up to the plate, and uh, thank you for that. I, I just hope you consider that one component of the ordinance. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to name them. So the VNA has been integral in um, working with the city and in, in actually drafting, I think, this ordinance. Um, or sent us a, a boilerplate draft, and we've enjoyed um, working with VNA and are, are happy to support them in this program. Next. Nancy Sabino, 1000 4th Avenue. Um, I wanted to thank the council for um, the free parking privilege that's going to happen um, starting the day after Thanksgiving, or the Saturday after Thanksgiving and going to Christmas Day. Um, but in order to advertise the free parking privilege, I picked up a copy of the ordinance which says metered parking requirements in the downtown and the waterfront areas of the city are hereby suspended so to allow for free parking 12 to 6 each Saturday commencing on November 26th through and to including de December 24th. It's not clear whether the municipal lots in the downtown, the municipal transportation and Banks Avenue garage are included in this ordinance. And it's also not clear which metered streets on the waterfront are included. I assume, but you can tell me that the private lot on Lake and Grand is not included in the free parking plan. Uh, if we could clarify that, so when Jean Dello goes and asks the um, parking meter company to make those changes to the meters. <coughs> We're clear as to whether or not the parking lots are included. Last year, when this was passed, the parking lots weren't striped. So it really didn't affect them right. last year. But now, are they part of this free parking on Saturday or not? Yes. They are. Well, yes. I wouldn't say b in Bangs have Garage too? Yes. Okay. Okay. Whatever was Done. Well, and we didn't have some of these things last year. Right, but yes, that was the intention. If it's not specifically in the ordinance, that would be directed. I believe the park and meter company has already been notified to put this in place, but Michael will follow up because sometimes they've been notified to do things and they're a little bit slow and they forget. So Correct. Can we and follow Barbara up? has asked them twice. What? Barbara has asked them twice. Uh, can, okay. We Just confirm. And <laughs> do via email, so and we have a paper trail. So when the Nancy comes back and yells at us and says, well, we, we told them three times and we have the email, so we followed up on it. And we usually put something on the screen that says, like, enjoy your day and, right. and shopping and eating in Asbury Park, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. 
today. What, what I forget what we put on the screen before, but we put something on the screen that flashes up when they try to pay between those hours. So Could we put this on the electronic billboard as well? Yes. Yeah, we yes. Mm -hmm. So any advertisement you did last year, you can basically do the same exact advertisement and add the city lots. And, and put it on the billboard. Mm -hmm. right. No, but I mean, as far as the advertisement. Yes. Yes. She wants to put it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah. also, if it can be programmed so that people could pay for parking after. I think we did that last year, didn't we? Mm, I'm not positive. Not okay. always. Yes, well, that, that, don't yes, that, can, be, that can be yeah. done. I'm All being right. told. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. Can I have a motion to close the public portion? Move it. Second. 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 All right. On to minutes, can I have a, a approval for the minutes of March 24, 2016, workshop meeting, uh, October 26, 2016, executive session, and October 26, 2016, regular session. Move it. So moved. Second. <coughs> Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. All right, we'll move on to the consent agenda. The following resolutions are on the consent agenda. Resolution 2016-433, resolution authorizing approval of special events application. Resolution 2016-434, resolution authorizing the payment of payroll in the amount of $925,099.95. Resolution 2016-35, resolution of the City of Asbury Park, County of Monmouth, State of New Jersey, authorizing a refund due to overpayment taxes due to large decrease of assessed value of property. Resolution 2016-436, resolution to credit sewer account for 1027 and a half Madison Avenue. Resolution 2016-437, resolution of the City of Asbury Park, County of Monmouth State, New Jersey, providing for an insertion of special item of revenue in the 2016 budget of the City of Asbury Park pursuant to NJSC 48 colon 4-87. This is for the Drive Sober grant. Resolution 2016-438, Resolution of the City of Asbury Park County, Mer uh, Monmouth, oops, State of New Jersey, providing for an insertion of revenue, a special revenue for 2016 budget for uh, the City of Asbury Park. This is for the Body Ar Armor Grant. Did I say that wrong? One drive sober and the other uh, Chapter 159 is the Body Armor Grant. And Resolution 2016-439, resolution authorizing the disposition of surplus property. Can I have a motion to approve these resolutions? Move, Move it. Second. New program. Sorry, I'm a little slow doing mm -hmm. it. That's okay. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We'll move on to individual resolutions. Resolutions 2016 440. Resolution authorizing the payment of bills in the amount of $1,868,285.45. Mayor Moore requested that purchase order 16-03376 be pulled from the bill list. He also wishes to abstain from line item 6-01-23220-000209. Councilwoman no, Chapman. Wait, wait a second. What's that? Why do I want to abstain? Because that's your, that's the, um. That, that was supposed to be pulled from the agenda totally. That's, that's, that's not the one he gave me. That's canceled. Is that $25? No. That's pulled. What am I abstaining from? I didn't ask to abstain from anything. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> this is no, it's not this one. It's yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> it's a late night. <laughs> Councilwoman Chapman requested to abstain from purchase order 16 03 009. Can I have a motion to approve, please? Move it. Second. Question. So we should adjust the number and it's only we we're reducing it to $225, so it should be $1,868,000. And $60.45, it's the one for $25 was deducted, and the one for $200 was pulled. Right. 
So, so the, the total will be adjusted after. Okay. Thank after, you. After the fact. Thank you. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2016-441, resolution authorizing the transfer of appropriations for a fiscal year 2016 budget. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-442, resolution of the City of Asbury Park County, Amama, State of New Jersey, authorizing compensation payment to Michael Maltner upon his separation of employment. Can I have a motion, please? Oh, yeah. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-443, resolution for permission to apply for the FEMA AFG grant. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-444, resolution awarding a contract for environmental services for tax block, lot, block 803 lots one through 14 in the city of Asbury Park, also known as the Turf Club, to Lewis Consulting Group Incorporated. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016 445, resolution of the mayor and city council. The city of Asbury Park authorizing the execution of subsequent developer agreement with AP Block. 176 Venture Urban Renewal LLC. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolutions 2016 446, resolution authorizing the issuance of non recourse redevelopment area bonds of the City of Asbury Park and the aggregate. P principal amount not to exceed seventeen million five hundred thousand, block four zero zero two infrastructure project. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We'll move on to introductions of ordinances. Ordinance 2016-47, repealing section 9-3, entitled Licensing for Cats, Fees of Chapter 9, Animal Control of the Code of the City of Asbury Park, New Jersey. Can I have a motion to introduce, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing for this ordinance will be held on November 22nd, 2016. Second introduction ordinance is 2016-48. An ordinance amending and supplementing chapter 28, health regulation. <laughs> he works for us. <laughs> We're a little distracted. <laughs> he works for us, it's okay. <laughs> Health regulations by adding Section 28-4, Sterile Syringe Asac Access Program, of the Revised General Ordinances of the City of Asbury Park, New Jersey. Can I have a motion to introduce, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? <coughs> yes. We're moving on to public uh, hearing, second reading, versus. Okay, when, when is that here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Pu uh, public hearing is scheduled from November 22nd, 2016. Can I, sorry you, about can, that. I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay, that one I want, obviously, done as quick as possible. The first one, like, doesn't it cost us more money to have a second reading this quick? I mean, so I don't care about the cats that, that wait till December. No. What? No what? No, it doesn't. How would it cost us more money? I thought you had to advertise. And we could advertise in the kosher, but now we have to advertise in the press, which is like 10 times the amount of money to do it within two weeks. Now, if I'm wrong, 
I've heard that not ten before. times, but I mean, it, it, it's, it oh, is I, faster, so we can we can do it for the first meeting in December. Yeah, just because we don't care. We're, we're doing it to save money, so why waste the money on advertising in the press when we can advertise in the coaster and do it the first meeting in December? All right, so ordinance the cat. Yeah, the cat. The syringe I want to do as quick as possible. Ordinance 2016-47, which is repealing the cat licenses, will move to um, the regular meeting of December 14th. 2016. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, I think we're on to the second reading public hearing. 2016-45, Ordinance of the City of Asbury Park, authorizing the execution of a financial uh, agreement with AP Block 176 Venture Urban Renewal LLC and granting a tax exemption. Uh, Mayor and Council, we have a procedural issue that has to be uh, fixed. You need to first do an amendment to the financial agreement to allow for the final financial numbers schedule to be included. These numbers are um, a little less. It's a, a de minimis change in the annual amount, which is one half of 1%. So you have to do an amendment first before you open for public hearing and then pass the ordinance. I if, move so. to amend. Second. Any other comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clinton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. All right now, can I have a motion to open to public hearing, please? Move it. Second. Anybody likes to be heard? What is that about? What is that text? Read it. You got to get up to the microphone, read it. Okay. okay. Uh, Rita Moreno, 8th Avenue. What is that tax exemption? give a brief presentation please it is the pilot agreement um, for the 1101 Ocean Avenue property which will bring the city over two million dollars in revenue um, the only way the project would get completed is if they had the payment in lieu of taxes um, instead of paying the ad valorem taxes this will when we were at the local finance board this morning um, the director of local government services said this is a transformative project in the city of Asbury Park. This is the project to complete 1101, um, old Esperanza, old C8, and this allows them to have it built because otherwise financially it wouldn't make sense. Well, how long is it for? It is a 30-year um, pilot with a three-year construction build-out. Wow, 30 years? Yes. They get a tax exemption for 30 years? Not yes. a tax exemption of payment in lieu of taxes yeah yes and I may be wrong on some numbers right now the entire city your house my house this building that building blah 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 everything in the city is generating in tax dollars several million I, I want to say 16, 16. 17, 17 million dollars so uh, okay, 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 okay. You d let me finish, Rita, and then you can respond. So this is going to bring us in another $2 million a year. That's more than 10% of what we're generating now from the entire city, 1.4 square miles. This is one block. For this to be built, it needs a pilot program. It, it can't be built without one. And we're, we're not like saying, okay, pay us $100,000 a year. It's over $2 million a year. So it was to the benefit of the taxpayers, in our opinion, and all of our legal advisors, or financial and legal advisors, that this is a good deal. And like Amy said, all the things were put into it, the cooperation between ISTAR and the city as far as the workforce development, the apprentice programs to try to get people full-time jobs not, and full-time training to get full-time jobs. It's a project well worth it, uh, pilot for 30 years. And the pilot goes up 2.5% two, two each year. It doesn't say it too. It increases, correct? Correct. So there is a. It does increase each year. So thirty. It goes up what? Two and a half percent. Two and a half percent each year. Uh, you're talking about prime property. But you, if you want to buy it and build on it, it was there for thirty years, and I, I think right now I start with sell it to you if you got the financing to build on it. It, it failed in the '80s. It failed in the 2000s. It's been a dilemma. We have somebody that wants to build and build a beautiful building and get it rid of the skeleton that we imploded, that we built, and we're gonna, we already started to demolish that one, and they're waiting 
to start tomorrow to pull their permits and start building. The quicker we get this off the table, the quicker we get $2 million a year to use in different sections of the city to help the entire city with other projects. I don't know why everything has to be 30 years. That's a long time. You, you and I won't be here. I know that. Okay, no, <laughs> I know that. <laughs> who the hell knows, we, we most, both might be here. Uh, I'll be down there with you yelling. <laughs> okay, but thank you. Anybody else, if not, motion to close? Move it. Second. I have a motion uh, to adopt ordinance 2016 45 as amended, please. Move it. Second. Councilmember Chap or Chapman? Yeah, yes. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Move on to Ordinance 2016-46, an ordinance of the City of Asbury Park and the County of Mama, State of New Jersey, providing for a special assessment of the cost of certain wastewater, stormwater, roadway, street, skate, utility, and other infrastructure improvements on Block 4002, Lot 1, within the City of Asbury Park Waterfront Redevelopment Area, and establishing a mechanism for payment of the cost thereof. Can I have a motion to open Ordinance 2016-46 to the public? Move it. Second. Anybody like to be heard? Motion to close. Move it. Second. Second. Uh, motion to, uh, to adopt Ordinance 2016-46. <coughs> Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. No other business. Motion to close, please. Move it. Second.